Wednesday is therapy day. We meet at my place. She's showing up somewhere around noon, driving one of them big old construction company cranes with one of them big old construction company wrecking balls attached to it. And then we proceed to smash, crash, bash, and otherwise delicately de demolish the next haunted house on the block in the bad neighborhood inside my head. She leaves an hour later with me, I'm seeing stars, but eventually grateful for the new vista, for the new view point. Every Wednesday. Pretty darn resourceful how we cover up the truth in order to survive it. Pretend it never happened. Did something happen? Except where does the memory of those circumstances get stored? What happens to the pain of it? Is each memory a book arranged neatly on a shelf inside us? So mine has been way more unruly than that, let me tell you. Mine has been way, way, way more unruly than ever loving that, let me tell you. Oh. <laughs> I mean, location, 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 when actually it is relocation. Relocation, relocation, relocation. We are presently in the process of relocating ourselves. We are moving away from foundation of fear to the clear remembering of our inherent value as humans. In other words, we are going home. Uh-huh, we are moving back home. We're returning to the home sweet, home base place inside of us, that place of peaceful confidence from which to shine our little asses off. Since ain't that what we're here to do, is shine, shine our little asses off, each and every one of us. So location, 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 when actually it is all about relocation. Welcome home. I say, when I first lived alone, I stacked pillows next to me in bed because I wasn't used to the feeling of nothing next to me. And for a, while, I, for a while, I welcomed in various persons to take the place of those pillows. And finally, I realized I shouldn't ought to be using no man as cushions, since Lord knows a relationship exists for more than physical security. But it took me a few years to figure that out. And meanwhile, the research was fun. And another thing, I say, what's the natural tendency of the natural tendency? When you're relaxed and unafraid, how does you function? How does you feel? What's the natural tendency of the natural tendency? When you is tooling along and hitting on all cylinders, how does you function? What's the natural tendency of the natural tendency? When your heart has got a say and you is following it. When you don't invite self-doubt to the party. When you lift the anchor, go with the flow. I say, what's the natural tendency of the natural tendency? I say, there is a hum. There is a hum of what you could call the main generator. Mm -hmm. And my job is to stay in tune with it. I think your generator needs some lubrication or something. No? <laughs> and I keep forgetting to mention that me and my poetry, we are completely portable. And by that I mean that we, me and my poetry, my poetry and me, we have done our little shtick in vast variety of so-called, in quotes, venues, a veritable plethora of places at a kitchen table for one and for an audience of one, as it turned out. I've read poetry in an antique store in the middle of the, so to speak, business hours. 
I've read poetry at high school, at university. I've read poetry at hospital or in cozy living room, indoors, outdoors, big crowd or teeny. It don't make no matter to us two, to me and my poetry. We just plain love showing up together. So just let us know and we'll be there. We'll be there with bells on, as they say. Each person is brilliant beyond measure. Each person is brilliant beyond compare. I was standing behind my cash register. He walked up with a basket full of groceries and said, are you open? I said, man, I, I try to be. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Carol and Sonny.